hey, Stella Assange, free Assange now. She says uh, 35 law professors write to Attorney General Merrick Garland urging him to drop the charges against Julian Assange. Over 35 law professors told the Justice Department a letter Wednesday that the espionage charges against Julian Assange pose an existential threat to the First Amendment. This isn't news news, but a Andrew Wilkie, MP, now this is an MP from the UK, he says, I successfully moved a motion to recognize the importance of bringing Julian Assange's extradition to an end. The government voted for it uh, for it in an, end, in an unprecedented show of political support for Julian Assange. The U.S. must heed these calls and draw. Now, is that in, the U in Australia? Yes. Eight? That's in Australia. Yes. That's not the U.K. So let's listen. Well, Deputy Speaker, today, in this place, shortly, this will be the time for all of us to take a stand, to stand up and to take a stand, and to stand with Julian Assange, stand for the principles of justice, Friends, stand for the principles of media freedom and the rights of journalists to do their job. Deputy Speaker, I'm hopeful this motion can pass this afternoon. I'm hopeful that I can go to London next week and I can make it clear to the British government and through the media to the US government that the Australian Parliament stands as one and calls for this matter to be brought to an end. Because regardless of what you might think of Julian Assange, and I acknowledge in this place there's a range of views. There are people that loathe the man. There are people who worship the man. But I tell you what, no matter which end of that spectrum you are uh, positioned, just about everyone agrees this has gone on too long, that it must be brought to an end. And I'm confident that this parliament can support this motion this afternoon, Deputy Speaker. It will send a very powerful political signal to the British government and to the U.S. government. So, uh, Stella Assange says, Julian has not been convicted in the bogus case brought by the United States authorities he exposed. They have been detaining him in a U.K. high security prison for almost five years. He's not serving any sentence. There is no conviction. How can an innocent man be kept in prison? Because you live in a devil country where, that runs right. the world? Because the West are full of uh, psychopathic warmongers? Let's yeah. hear what Julian Assange has to say. <laughs> democracies, or the pseudo-democracies that we are evolving into, wars are a result of lies. The Vietnam War and the push for U.S. involvement was a result of the Gulf of Tonkin incident. Which was a lie. A lie. Here, here. The Iraq war famously is a result of lies. Wars in Somalia are a result of lies. The Second World War and the German invasion of Poland was a result of carefully constructed lies. That is war by media. Let us ask ourselves of the complicit media, which is the majority of the mainstream press, what is the average death count attributed to each journalist? When we understand that wars come about as a result of lies peddled to the British public and the American public and the publics all over Europe and other countries, then who are the war criminals? It is not just leaders, it is not just soldiers, it is journalists. Journalists are war criminals. Wow. And why one might think that that should lead us to a state of despair that the reality that is constructed around us is constructed by liars is constructed by people who are close to those that they are meant to be policing it should lead us also to an optimistic understanding because if wars can be started by lies truth can be started Peace can be started by truth. Well said. And I just like to point this out. These guys are war criminals. This guy exposed war crimes, 
Guess which one is in jail? Yeah, you got to try to, whenever the truth, here's the only religion you got to have, the truth. So these people, notice how you're living someplace evil because people who tell the truth are automatically bad. In fact, they'll call you lazy. You tell a joke that's true. Yeah. That's lazy comedy. Yeah. Do the work of telling the lie I want you to tell. Yes. So the reason why I wanted to do this is to let you know that there's a protest to defend a free press the day X is here. It, the last chance in the British courts to stop Julian Assange is it's extradition. It's Tuesday the 20th and Wednesday, February 21st, 8.30 a.m. at the Royal Court of Justice, uh, Strand, London. Uh, the nearest tubes are Holborn and Temple. So there it is. It's, it's Tuesday and Wednesday, Tuesday, February 21st, Wednesday, February 21st, uh, 20th and February 21st, 8.30 a.m., Royal Courts of Justice, Strand, London. The closest tubes are Holborn and Temple. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make people aware of that. Hey, come see us for telling jokes in Philadelphia, Boston, Los Angeles, Palm Springs, Stroudburg, Pennsylvania, Cortland, New York, Oakmont, Pennsylvania, and El Paso and San Antonio, Texas. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm -hmm.